All right, people, we back. Another episode, R-A-O-P. I'm excited for this one. We got a, a legend, living legend on the other side of the camera, all the way out in Cali. All the way out in Cali. We ain't going to say exactly where you at because, you know, we got you. Yeah. Y'all see the Peace view. Out. Yeah, y'all see the view. <laughs> Don't, don't mind my gazebo. It's gusty winds. It's gusty winds right now. <laughs> the gazebo fire, though. The, the, people people work hard for that. I know you worked hard for that. Oh, shoot. Until the winds come and tear it up. I just replace it every year or every three years. Every three years I replace it. Yes. You be throwing parties and stuff out there? Like, I used to. I've been here over a decade or almost. Yeah, shit. Ten years. So, yes, I used to. I don't as much anymore. No. Yeah, I so like my. I, I prefer my peace now. I went through that that stage in that era, and it was wonderful. It made me who I am. Look at me, I'm beautiful, right? Wonderful yeah, soul. Definitely. But <laughs> but yes, that is just not who I am anymore. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> will be coming to my house and partying and spending the night and packing a bag. As soon as I see a bag, I won't even let you upstairs. You like me, so when I I don't throw no get together tonight anyway. Because as soon as people in my house. I want you out my house in about two hours. Yes, yes. I, as soon as the party is over, where are you going? Home. Yeah. I hope. Yeah, definitely. Most people. Sleeping. Yeah, most people they want to want to sleep over and stuff. They want to yeah. bring a as to go as, bag. As soon as I see it, it's over. I won't even get out the car. I will figure out how to get you in an Uber if I'm too drunk to drive. I will figure out every other single thing. I will. I will have to work even if I don't gotta work. <laughs> Yeah, you, yeah, all of a sudden I have a scene. I just got called in for a scene today. Uh, uh-uh, uh, I'm not doing that. Yeah, so yeah. I enjoy my peace. So with that, I no longer throw all of those lovely, extravagant in the hills parties. I see. I <laughs> those know. nice orgy parties that I used to throw, basically. Yeah. Oh, you throw you throw orgy parties out there. That was fun. Oh, it was really fun. Yeah. Out on the balcony. I mean, we just, it was a party. So depending on where people were doing things, sure, honey. Sure. That's what's up. That's what's up. You got any uh, neighbors complaining or anything? No, I have never had a, a complaint. No. Again, oh, this up. was many years ago, though. I like my peace. But we're speaking, you know, on what I used to do. Past tense, past tense, past tense. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> so you uh, you from L.A. and then you say you got the crib out there in L.A. 10 years. You ever get bored of being out there in, um, well, California? You ever get bored of uh, being out there in California? Yeah, I was born in Inglewood. I love, California is so big. It's so many different places to go and live. It's so funny because growing up in Inglewood at the time, until I was about 19, I had never actually been to the valley and if i did i didn't know that i didn't mm -hmm. notice i was in the valley um but i heard about valley girls and how they talked and all this bullshit and so until i got into the adult industry that's when i even realized the valley even existed so then i started to get to see more of california and then i started to travel the world so no i don't get bored at all it's so much to see out here you got the mountains you can go see snow it, it, yeah. you can go to the desert you can go it doesn't matter you can have uh very let me turn this heater off you can have uh gusty winds you can have hot desert you can have a little it's just so many different aspects of the weather and the world in this one state in my opinion yeah. so no i don't get bored honey <laughs> there's so many yeah. things to do it <laughs> see, see i'm the same way so like i know everybody like to move out of like florida and stuff i live in jacksonville so okay. me me personally, we don't got all that stuff like you said, but as long as I'm traveling throughout the year, yes. Being in Jacksonville is fine with me. He says as long as I'm traveling. Yeah, I dig it. Yeah, as long as I'm, I'm traveling. I'm kind of a very shit, what kind of I'm a very spontaneous person. So I will hmm, not even not only that, I tend to be very I can make nothing out of make something out of nothing. I just, I am a very life of the party type of motherfucker. I could do something by myself and truly enjoy it. So yeah, so much to explore, baby. Come on, get your mouth right. right. <laughs> Go out there and explore. Let's be definitely, explorers definitely. in this motherfucker, yeah. guys. It's a whole you, world out there. You don't see this? It's a whole motherfucker world out there to explore. Go explore. Go explore. Man, look at that. Look at that view. That's amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> 
that, go that's ins- that that's inspirational right there. Oh yes, I think the Hollywood sign back there somewhere. I don't know. Yeah, that's there, a, like I, I see it to the left. I see it. I see it back there. So. That's that's beautiful. That that's that's a view for a Hall of Famer. You are you are avian Hall or multiple multiple platform Hall of Famer. Yes. So yes. How is that getting? I can't even. What is it? Avian? It's multiple. I think it's like Urban X Hall of Fame. Like how is that getting those accolades? Uh, you know, it it just makes me feel like uh that what I do is not unnoticed because certain things maybe throughout your career may go unnoticed and you may yeah. feel like, oh, I didn't get that or I didn't have that opportunity or whatever the case may be. At least in the end, they like, you know what, bitch? I got you. Yeah. I remember what you did for us. I appreciate it. Brazzers just inducted it, me into their Hall of Fame this year as well. So thank you, Brazzers. Woo, woo. I so I am in the Brazzers Hall of Fame and also uh, XRCO Awards. Uh, the XRCO Awards, they actually um, inducted me into their Hall of Fame this year as well. So I got two of them this year. <laughs> so when they, what that do, they do any like ceremonies or anything? Or that's just like of one course, of the things yeah. They, just, like, they did yeah. a big dinner. Brazzers did a big dinner for us, a, a special dinner just for the inductees. And then the next day they had the big award show. They feed us another dinner because they are fucking spectacular. So at the <laughs> award show, they actually have dinner there for the award attendees as well. So they, they had two dinners for us. Really lovely, fly ass shit, beautiful performances. I didn't get to see everything because I'd be late sometimes, but that's okay. That's okay. I made it to get my award. Okay. So, as long as I got a few pictures in, to make it look like I was there all night. That's all I care about. That's good. As long as you get the speech and do you, is it like the, uh, I don't Ooh, know if you ever no, seen I like the, the speech. I didn't make the speech. Oh, you didn't do a speech? That's all right. That's all right. I didn't make it. I didn't make it. I got you. Cause I was about to, I was about to ask, is it like the, I know, have you ever seen like the basketball hall of fame where like you do a speech and like somebody induct you into the hall of fame? It's not extravagant. Like, well, it sounds like extravagant anyway. It's not in detail like that. I dig it. I understand. No, it, it, they have a whole ceremony, award show. I mean, it's really nice. It's very beautiful. Very put together very, very well. They they spend some money, baby. Definitely. They take That's good dope. care of us. They take very good care of us. That's dope. So, yeah. um, you you a legend. Everybody, I know everybody been watching. I know you get told you a legend every day. So, if I say it too much, just... I don't don't it. don't I don't mind love. it. Don't mind Nigga, it. Don't I love mind love. It. Nigga, give me all the love. <laughs> give you all the flowers. <laughs> Cause I know you've been on. Uh, you've been yeah. You did it. You've been doing it a long time. Uh, I mean, we're not gonna date it how many years, but I know some people. Not even some people. A lot of people like grew up to you. It's probably people that have been watching your shit back when they was in middle school. But they don't. <laughs> do you ever get it? In middle school, I know I get that a lot. I'm like, what? Did you just tell me you've been watching me since? Boy, if you don't get on my face. <laughs> Boy, you ever got head. somebody you ever got somebody came up to you and they're like damn you were the first shit i ever like beat yes. my meat to or whatever yes yes even females sometimes they're like oh misty you taught me this and that and how to be sexy and how to do i'm like wow okay well thank you baby so it's kind of interesting let me ask it's you very, this it's very interesting this random so you got the uh i'm pretty sure people brought up so you got the iconic curly hair Yes. Outside of porn, have any women ever said, I ever went to the beauty shop and like, let me get the Misty Stone hair? I think so, yes. <laughs> whenever they, <laughs> uh, whenever people wear their hair like this, they tend to tag me in it and tell me, I got my Misty look going today. I just wanted to show you, bitch. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> they got their Misty Stone look, yes. So yeah, I, so le- I, yeah, so- I, love, I love the love. I'll take it. Now, when they try to steal my look, that's a whole nother situation. But if yeah. they just want to embrace it and love me, I take it. Yeah, they gotta pay homage to you. It's this lady. She used to work with ESPN. I think it was her name, Sage Steele. Yes, I used to get called her a lot. People was like, "Bitch, I just saw you on a billboard." I was like, "That's not me." Yeah, nah. They, it's funny because they call her the uh, they call her the evil Misty Stone. Oh, oh is she evil? Cause oh shit, <laughs> I didn't know. Yeah, she kind of real pretty. Bitch, look pretty. Bitch is pretty. Yeah, she but cool. I didn't know what she was talking about. I wasn't really into politics like I am now. So mm-hmm, that was a different time. Yeah, but I think what, she. What, 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 the things that she was saying out of her mouth just wasn't right, huh? Yeah, she kind of maggy. She kind of, she kind of, they call her a quote unquote coon and whatnot. So. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Well, honey. 
I'm definitely not that motherfucker. Yeah, that's why they said the evil Mrs. Stone. They said the evil Mrs. Stone. They said the evil Mrs. Stone. She better get her some crystals. She'll be all right. Let her. No, nah, it's no. Nah, she too get far gone. Wind. And some tiger's eye. Give her. her no, nah. <laughs> they need to. They need to sit her down and make her watch Malcolm X for like. 12 hours or some shit like oh that. Oh my, you know, I, I believe she got canceled though, correct? Yeah. Yes, yes, okay. Yeah, well, more than one occasion. That tends to happen, honey. That tends to yeah, happen. It is. That's, <laughs> that, that's what happens when you uh, yes. do coon things. But it is what it is. <laughs> oh, my oh my goodness. Well, it's poor Sage. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send her some love and light. She might get it together. Go within, yeah, she, Sage. Go within, girl. Go within. Yeah, she, she, she might figure it out one day. Anyway, <laughs> um... Also, they call you the is it the porn Hollyberry, the adult industry yeah. Hollyberry. Yeah. Who uh, who came up with that? You know, it was man, this was a long time ago too. Uh, it was Hustler magazine that actually dubbed me the Hollyberry of porn, and this was back in like 2009, maybe. Mm. This was a really long time ago. That's when they dubbed me the Hollyberry of porn because that's when we started to do the spoofs, you know. Yeah. The and I was really popular doing that. I was a really good little actress and, you know, nobody else was that good at acting. So they called me the Holly Berry of porn because I was just very, very talented at the time. I'm still very talented, honey. I've actually gotten more talented. <laughs> but yes, I was yeah. very talented and they thought it was a great idea to put in a magazine and dub, it, dub me with some pictures. And I thought the pictorial and the editorial was wonderful. Thank you, Hustler Magazine. <laughs> oh no no! So I I didn't know that was exactly why why they came up with it because definitely you the uh for sure you're definitely the queen of parody parody poems. I think you yeah. probably got you definitely got the most out of them. I think I got a list right here for it's a couple. You got the most. Yes, I used <laughs> to be the shit at the parody. Sometimes they would just switch it up, and if it was any black character, just gonna we're just gonna change my hair and make me look like that character. They just was like. They made me play every fucking character I could imagine. I think sometimes <laughs> they didn't even have a character for me, and they just write it in. Yeah, it's they just made they made one. Made, made one. So you was in this. This not even a whole list. This is a quick one. You was in yes. Avatar, yeah, Cosby Show, Magic Mike, The Hangover, The Flintstones, Men in Black, Family Guy, Oprah, and of course, there's many other ones. Yes. I, what's your What's your favorite Save one? Say by you the did? bell. You know what? Say by the bell. Favorite? My favorite one would have to be the Cosby show. That's okay. where I felt like I learned how to be a star. <laughs> it was like a really good experience. The cast, learning how to be on a very, uh, what is it called? A feature movie. Is that what? Yeah, that's what we call them. Feature yeah. movie set. You know, they're much bigger sets. Just a different type of, it's not gonzo porn, wham, bam, here, thank you, ma'am. You got a lines you got a bunch of people on set working a lot of cameras it's like you know a regular fucking mainstream set it's 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 incredible so that was my first experience doing that and the love and the awards and just all the work that i got after that from that you know mm. really catapulted me into the stardom where i am now so that was one of my favorite movies and i got to play a virgin <laughs> i played lisa bonet <laughs> yeah, you played uh, what's her? Name? Yeah, yeah, Lisa Bonet. Yeah, I forgot her name on the Cosby Show. Yeah, that was Denise, 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 Denise. Yeah, I was about to um, it's funny because I was about to pick the Cosby Show. I feel like that's the best one. You did Oprah too. How was it being Oprah? Uh, that was interesting. Oprah talks a lot. Let's just say yeah. that that bitch can talk, and that script was ridiculous. Um, uh, putting on the fat suit was fun. <laughs> I I got to uh oh, I just dropped my stuff. I got to um do the scene with one of my favorite performers, Carlos uh, Carrera, and and he played Stedman. I just, I had a really good time doing it. Bella Moretti played uh, Gail King. Yes, mm. I remember Bella. Bella was so fine. Oh, she was so fine. Yeah, Bella Moretti. Wow, that brings back memories. But yeah, I wore a fat suit, all kinds of shit. They just got me talking, doing crazy stuff, but it was an interesting scene. Larry actually, I think, I want to say He's, he didn't write the entire script, but it was his idea. Uh -huh. And he had the idea with me in mind. So I did what Larry wanted me to do, honey. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Full on. Right, Larry did Plant you... was like, Misty will be great in Oprah. I'm like, <laughs> in a fat suit? 
with this raggedy wig. Come on, Larry. <laughs> Come on, you Larry. Did, uh, hey, he, I did he, it though. I he, did. He, it. See, I he did. had a he had yeah he, he saw the vision because you played like all the evolutions of Oprah. So yes. it, like it it made it it made it dope. Yeah, I did. I played all. Yes, very you interesting. Look at you, go baby. Yes, very good. <laughs> You think you think you think Oprah saw it? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, probably. I mean, it's porn, and it's her porn. Yeah, I'm sure she saw it. I think I think she Oprah seen it. it. Yeah, she didn't put it. Did. She didn't put out like no cease and desist or anything. She probably liked it. I know Bill Cosby tried it. Oh, really? He tried to put out a cease and desist. He was coming for us. He was not having it. He was he not having it. He got mad because that's probably what he was doing for real on the set. He was mad than a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha, nigga. This was way before that happened. <laughs> gotcha, nigga. Gotcha. He could have been he too mad. We saw you in the ethers and what you was doing. We wrote about it. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. It was based off. It was based off his true story. That's why he got yeah. mad because he couldn't. He can't profit off of it. Up, baby. Come on. And also, like the title said, not the Cosby Show. So it's like. Yeah, yes, nigga, it's not it's purpose. not the Cosby show. It's not, yes. People know it's a spoof and it clearly yeah. says triple X. We understand that. But if you wanna take it to another level and, and call the court system, then yeah, be my guest, honey. We're gonna win. <laughs> the av the avatar Porn always was, wins. What's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely. The avatar one was interesting too, because you had to like wear blue paint and shit. Yes. That oh, that was crazy. That was five and a half hours a day in makeup Damn. before we even shot the scenes did any lines it was not really a lot of lines a lot of growling and shit that was a weird yeah. ass. <laughs> 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 you will put that to the Very bottom of animalistic the scene you know yeah yes. you would you put that to the bottom of the list or that's like did you did you fuck with that one i mean i fuck with it because it did well but yeah, it wasn't one of my favorites. No. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't a goat like the Cosby Show or what. Nah, it wasn't one of my favorites. Lexington still actually played the my father. He was the king, and I was princess. I was the princess. Damn. Mm hmm. That's funny. That was Lex in all that blue. That was Lex. I ain't see the full thing. I just think I think I just seen your scene. Oh, yeah. Like. But the dude that I did the scene with, he was a white boy, but nobody knew who anybody was anyway. We was all blue. Yeah, you did it didn't the uh, really matter. It didn't really matter. <laughs> Everybody was blue. Yeah, you did uh, the Family Guy one too. That one was that one was yes. pretty cool. I forgot yeah. about that one. Wow, yeah, I remember that. Yes, I did, honey. Yes, I did. Yeah, you the, you the queen of that's Did somebody dub you that? If not, we got stamped that today. You the queen <laughs> of Paris. <Paris's laughs> Go ahead and dub me, cuz. Yeah, you the you the you the goat you the goat of that because you was in all of them. One of my favorite ones you wasn't in it though it was uh they did a Martin one. They're like they should have put you a Martin. You should have played. I Gina. remember that one. You should have played like Pam or Gina or something like that. I think I was too young for that one. That one was like before parodies became a big thing. Okay. Yeah, I think I think that was before they start really doing parodies on a different scale. That that was like one of the first people to ever do it. And it it didn't like take off that way for some odd apparent reason, but later oh, okay. in the years to come, it, it took off very much so. Yeah, yeah, that was like before time, cause like when that gotta, one came gotta out, gotta have that right timing, baby. That timing, yeah. boy, you got that right idea, you got that right timing. I feel like that, that started like a chain reaction, cause after I seen that, you're right though. After I seen that, I started seeing like the Friday one, all kind of shit. They yes. were like, it yes. seemed like it was a new one coming out like every week. Yes, yes, yes. So with um, you said the Oprah one, you had a bunch of like lines in that. Did that yeah, way get, too many. Way too way many. Too, way, way too many. But when they say practice make perfect, do you do you feel like that helped you like in mainstream stuff? Oh yeah, you was, absolutely. You, yeah, you was in one of my uh favorite TV shows, Sons of Anarchy. Oh yes, I did that. Yes, honey, I did. <laughs> pow pow pow, nigga. Pow pow pow. Yeah. yeah, that was an interesting experience. They gave me my own trailer and everything. It was really nice. Oh, actually. really? Yeah, they did. I was one of the only girls that had her trailer. I had my own trailer. Yeah. I did all. So, um... yeah, very good experience. And they still pay me till this day. I still get checks for that from Disney. I guess they FX was bought. Yeah, by FX. Disney. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think Disney bought them. So now I get Disney checks. <laughs> Who would have thought? <laughs> 
<laughs> Who would have thought? I'd be going to the bank with my Disney checks. They'd be looking at me like, because <laughs> they know what I do. <laughs> so they're like, you do Disney too? <laughs> yeah, they look at you. They were like, when the fuck was she in that so raving? <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck is going on? So yes, they, they bought uh, FX was bought out by Disney. And so I have Disney checks now. So thank you. Um, yeah, it was that was a great experience. Just meeting everybody, seeing some of the way the characters actually get into character was really cool. Very interesting just being on that set. It was very nice. I, I really enjoyed it a lot. Yeah. So hit you, who, who hit you up to do that? You know, something the, the young man or the older man that hit me up to do that. I can't remember his name right now, but he died actually. Rest in peace. Rest in um, peace. Yeah. But he had uh, reached out to me to do that. And then he asked me to find a bunch of girls to play extras. So I reached mm. out to my publicist and he found a shit ton of girls to play extras. And it, it, it went very well. Yeah. That's, that's what's up. Yeah. It's funny. I was a I was a a young gooner growing up. So when I was watching Sons of Anarchy, I seen you. I hit the uh the Leonardo DiCaprio when he pointed and <laughs> I was like, oh, that's her. Yeah, that's me, guys. <laughs> yeah, it's funny because we used to be on Twitter uh during like Sons of Anarchy when it used to be on TV, like live tweeting it. I think it was like yes. it's coming like every Wednesday. Yes. Man, when you popped up, like the whole timeline just went crazy. They're like that Misty Stone. <laughs> That's yeah, you, what's blew, up, man. you blew the timeline. I, I can't remember. You, said you blew the timeline up. <laughs> yeah, the timeline went crazy. They were like, "Man, y'all know y'all seen Missy Stone just now in that one scene." They were like, "I don't know who Missy Stone." They're like, "Nah, nigga, you know who the fuck Missy Stone is? She was just in that one scene. Oh, you you know. had to have it. You had to have been trending that day." Like, oh, but you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because Sun Sons of Anarchy, like when that show used to come on, that that shit used to have like the timeline on tilt. Everybody was tweeting about it, but then as soon as you popped up, everybody just went crazy. Very true. Okay, I like it. I didn't know that. Oh, you don't get no you don't get no feedback on that? On doing I, something. I didn't American? pay attention. You know, it's so funny at the time, which is crazy. I used to watch that show religiously. Yeah. It was ridiculous. And then when I got on the show, I stopped watching the damn show. That's how them how does that even oh. make sense? Who I about to say, I about <laughs> say I don't make no sense. I'll I watch it more. Support the show you on. Like, I just stopped watching it. That's the weirdest shit. I don't know what happens. It's like, I get on the show now, I don't want to watch it no more. Nah, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, yeah. You you had a big role. Because, I well, yeah, the big the scene was pretty big. I can't remember exactly what happened in the scene. I think it was like a church or something like that. Yeah, the Chinese. They was looking for the Chinese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, because they, they wanted to get back at them niggas. But uh, they ended up running into this, this these church people, which was us. And we was in there doing not so church stuff. Okay. Yeah. The preacher was had a camcorder with some stockings on. The deacon was eating my pussy and he was getting fucked by the, the assistant preacher or some shit. It was ridiculous. I don't know who wrote this fucking script, but it was so fucking ridiculous. <laughs> and they pop in on us and just so happens, you know, my crazy ass got a, a gun under my silk pillow and I pull out and bust on them niggas but I miss <laughs> I pull out bust on them as soon as they pop in the door and I miss and they just they kill everybody everybody yeah. did everybody did All we right. actually had another scene that we did but they uh they cut it so it's crazy because you spend days shooting these scenes just like say you spend a whole day shooting a commercial you know and then they only use three minutes of it or two 30 seconds of it you know what i mean yeah very interesting you remember what the other scene was so you remember what the other you remember what the other scene was yeah we just got buried it was like raining it was crazy it was raining but it wasn't real rain it's fake rain um but they had this machine the rain machine it's raining it's muddy they buried us in the mud in this ditch. They took us and threw our bodies and buried us and shit. It was crazy. And we had oh, to act dead. Enough. Yeah, we had to act dead. I had mud all over me, mud all in my hair. It was terrible. And I, didn't use it. I was in a ditch in dirt with rain all over me, getting buried alive. <laughs> and nobody cared. <laughs> the fuck? I'm actually happy. I know I know you had to take your time filming. I'm actually happy they cut that out because that sounds fucked up. <laughs> he said, I don't think I want to see that. <laughs> nah, that's actually pretty fucked up. That would have that would have ruined the moment. But the, from <laughs> what you 
Yeah, from what you was explaining about the church, I was like, that sounds like a typical church to me. Oh, I'm about to whoop you. Oh. <laughs> I do, actually. I don't know. Yeah, you know I'm about you to say it. Too, you can't be too uh, careful. Yeah, I'm not going to say all the churches. There's some good people, but you, you better course. be careful. Be careful who you follow, okay? Be exactly. So what are, their, what are their real intentions? You know, what is their integrity? I remember a motherfucker t- telling me about my integrity, you know? And now that I understand integrity, because I didn't really understand what integrity meant, I was like, what does that even mean? Fuck you mean I don't got no integrity? <laughs> I was very upset about this. Very upset. That's and true. and and he said, you know, I tend to not do what I say. You know, like I'll say mm. that I'm going to do something and then I end up not doing it. I'm like, man, I just forgot. I, I, I didn't really want to do it. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really want to do it. Um, or something came up. I don't know. I don't, I don't. I didn't really. I don't like. So now till this day, I try not to make promises or make times. I just be like, look, if I'm in the area, I'm going to call you, see where you at. And we can link up and come to an alignment. Otherwise, I don't like no time. <laughs> but now yeah. I feel like, nigga, I am integrity. I literally walk in my truth. Like, do I not? There are people who do things behind closed doors that nobody knows about. I literally yeah. walk in my truth. You can see it on camera, nigga. My pain is right there. My trauma is right there in front of your fucking face. I'm walking in my truth. What's your integrity? You doing it behind a camera screen with your dick in your hand. Ooh, nobody watching. Nobody know what you think. And nobody know your motherfucking intentions. My intentions coming right out my mouth, nigga. Yeah. Who's your mama? No. <laughs> 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 that's a that's some real shit you spitting. I think that's a reason why a lot of I think they call the dudes like incels and shit. I think that's why a lot of the incels like judge porn stars because yeah. they live in their truth and like a lot yeah. of people don't they live in their truth. That. Yes, you're doing yeah. it behind a screen. You probably making fake accounts, uh being a predator to people. You ain't no telling what these motherfuckers is doing. You know what I'm saying? But then they want to bother somebody else about their integrity, nigga. Yeah. What's your integrity? What are you doing? Exactly. Because we have some people. I don't trust them. I don't trust yeah. them. Anybody that asks yeah. me about my motherfucking integrity, I don't trust them. I don't trust them. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. Because we, um, because we, uh, of course, we interview uh, porn stars and like we be getting a lot of like backlash and crazy ass comments. And then I always look at the account and it's always somebody that's following us. And I'll be like, man, why do you follow us if that's not what the fuck you want to watch? Oh, let them let them listen because maybe that's going to help them see the other side so they can look within themselves and see what the fuck they lack in. Yeah. Okay. Because sometimes you need to see the opposing, you know, uh, team. You need to see what you don't want or what you think you don't want. <laughs> Let's say that. <laughs> but yeah. you think you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, deep mental shit. But yeah, you need to see that so that you can understand the other side. So maybe you can, you can maybe see something that you would not have seen. Now you can have a different motherfucking perspective because I like that all the time. That's why I love debates because I am such a healthy debater, but a lot of people, they don't like debating with me. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't that fun. It ain't that fun because I really get to the facts. But yeah, I think debating and, and figuring out the opposing team is very important. Shit, the fuck? How you going to know how to win, bitch? Exactly. You you spitting right now. You need to be a uh, motivational speaker on the low. Oh, good looking, kids. <laughs> <laughs> good looking. You definitely you definitely need to do that. Hey, real quick, back to the church, random, yeah. random, real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ever been to a church and like somebody like recognized you from like what you do inside the church? You know, I don't go to church. So oh, yeah, okay. To church. Um, every once in a blue moon, I'll go to church in Nebraska, but that's my people. That's my family. Yeah, yeah. Ain't nobody yeah. bothering me. Everybody know I'm there. They know who I am. I grew up there. It's Nebraska. You know, everybody know everybody in Nebraska. So, yeah, no, no, they don't bother me like that. And when I go to church, I go with, I go looking different. Gotcha. Yeah. I don't, I don't be all, yeah, I'm very regular. That's good. That's good. Yeah. I tone it all the way down. I was <laughs> All the way down. I had because I don't, ask, I don't even want that attention. I'm going there for a specific reason. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yes. He's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about the Lords, but I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a deep spiritual person. Let me play. Let me play with your mind. Let me play with your mind. I'm Hopefully. Just... <laughs> so, uh, I be doing the history about shit. So when people say stuff, I'll be like, mm, you know what that means? What you saying, baby? Nine times out of ten, though. No. They just saying it just to say it. Yes. Correct. 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 
or it's because of what they have been taught because they think that's what they're supposed to say. They think that's how it's supposed to be, but you need to go down your own rabbit hole and do your own research on everything that you were fucking taught. Yeah. And that's my advice to anybody in this world. Just do your own research, go down the rabbit hole, no matter what you think you know, just have, form your own opinion. There we gotcha. go. Form your own motherfucking opinion. Wise words. You spent in the day. You spent, it's, it's Saturday, but it feel like it's, it's Saturday, Sunday. Yes. It's Saturday, but it feel like Sunday the way you preaching on it. Man, and I'm about to go shoot a scene with Isaiah Maxwell. Shout out to Isaiah. I'm about mm. to go shoot a scene with him. And then tomorrow, I think I'm going to do a scene with Dreads because I just haven't been shooting much boy girl on my site and I don't want to upset the fans, you know, so. Damn. I've been shooting a lot of girl girl. A lot of white girls all over my site. So let's switch it up a little bit. Bring some Nice chocolate men to my site, so you guys can be happy about that. Yeah, you did a uh, uh, I don't know when you did that, shit, but I seen it on one of the sites. You had did one with uh, what's the name, thick ass Daphne, the girl with the, with the cut. Yes, yes, I did. That was a while ago, wasn't she adorable? She is beautiful, yeah, she, she is, she is fucking beautiful, even till this day. I think her body, just her, even her personality, everything about the bitch, she's a very different type of spirit. I fucks with her the long way. Absolutely. And a freaky motherfucker. <laughs> yes, she is. She's very wonderful to work with. That was a good experience. She's a great co-star. Fuck yeah. Yeah, that was yeah. good. That was good. And she's probably even nastier now. Probably way better than then, you know? And that, that was a while ago. Yeah. That was a while ago. When you was working with her, did you give her, like, the game and stuff? Like, any kind of, like, head, like, ideas and whatnot? Nah. It was a, it was a very live set. I live next to the hospital, so my bad. Yeah. Uh, it was a very live set. It was a lot of people there, a lot of different scenes happening. They had scripts. They had ideas. You know, it was someone's basically dream or idea that they wanted to come to life, and they added me as one of the actresses, and I thought that was very nice of them. So it was just a lot going on. It was a wonderful set. I, I didn't. We just was having a shit ton of fun. Yeah. <laughs> we was it fucking looked. having fun. Nigga, it, was, it, was it, it was a fun <laughs> ass set and that's when i we first start doing like content you know really shooting our <laughs> own shit you know so yeah it was it was fun hell yeah nah but i didn't get to spit no game we was too busy fucking and having fun fucking and fucking and doing whatever yeah oh you so you so that was like around the time when like only fans and stuff started blowing up uh i suppose yeah that's when it first started <laughs> yeah i suppose yeah <laughs> absolutely Absolutely. And we start, but we were really, even before that, we were starting to do our own content on our own sites, you yeah. know? Yeah. Even we had clips for sale and shit. We had all, we, we was doing shit on Snapchat. Me and Slim Pope was killing Snapchat, nigga. We was murdering that shit. Yeah, we was doing, yeah, there's a lot of different avenues that we were trying out at the time, but OnlyFans is the one now. We, fi we, we figured that out in the end. Yeah. We figured that out. <laughs> yeah, went through all these trials and hurdles and tribulations. And now we're like, you know what? This is where we yeah, make the most money. Yeah, I about to say, yeah, Cliffs for Sale. That's a that's a throwback right there. I haven't seen or heard heard that in a long ass time. Yeah, Cliffs for Sale. That's where we started. Yeah, I remember that. I thought I'd bring it up. Why not? Yeah, a little little throwback for the day. So today. um not so not thick ass Daphne, but is there any any girls that you like mentored in the game? Uh, yeah, I'm a mentor to all, honestly. Mm. This is what I do. I'm a pioneer. You know, I've mentored a legend. lot of young ladies. There's so many that have come and gone. And I've been, you know, a, a, I've had mentors too. Vita mm. Valentine was my mentor. Roxy Reynolds was my mentor. You know, these are great. Yeah, just lovely women in my life. Oh, and I just love Heather Hunter because she's just so wonderful. I just love her. Yeah. Well, yeah, we got um we got a ton of ton of younger listeners. So younger listeners, if you're watching, pause this right now. Google Heather Hunter. Oh, uh, right now. Come just on. Just Google just Google 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 Heather Hunter Google and then that. come come back. Holla at me. <laughs> in the com in the comments, let us know what you saw. She was when the you real one first. She was the first. Yeah. Okay. Y'all thought I was doing something, nigga. Fuck with Heather. <laughs> Yeah, she the uh goat, damn. Goat. She is the, the triple goat. 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 She the, the goat triple goat. goat of the year. How about that? She triple goat goat of the century. Just ain't no goat 
better than that motherfucker go. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna put names on shit. Like I know people watch. We got a lot of like a sports fans in here. I'm gonna say Heather Hunter like the Magic Johnson, and you like the Jordan. I like it. Let's do it. You man. like that? I like. All it. right, all right. Roxy gonna fuck me up though, cause she the Jordan the porn, cause Jordan. She the Jordan the porn. That's her thing, cause she Jordan. Oh, Roxy. she called herself the Jordan. Well, I think she. I don't know who called her that in particular. I don't know her story, but yeah, everybody calls her Jordan. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, see, Roxy, one of my favorites. I don't want to like downplay her, but I feel like you like the more most recognizable. Jordan. So I like that's why I said yeah. Jordan. I appreciate it, baby. I appreciate it. I'm like okay. Queen Elizabeth. I reign forever. Okay. It's okay. So if we if we gonna call Roxy call the me Jordan. Queen Elizabeth in this Queen motherfucker Queen Elizabeth. Man. We could call you like the Kobe, the Kobe or the LeBron. Then I'll take it, kids. I'll take it, kids. All right, you the way, nigga. You do the do the assist, and I'm a motherfucking alley. You that shit. <laughs> dunk that shit. <laughs> Whatever that means. Yeah, you know what I mean, guys. Yeah, that, it's that same thing. Alley, you dunk, dunk. So dunk, all right, something like that. All right, so we're going to go to the and one beach things back in the day. I thought I was doing something. <laughs> you remember those? No. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shout out Hot Sauce. Hot, Jacksonville Legend, Hot Sauce. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's the one That's one of the Braves who do the crossovers and shit like yep, that. So, yep. That's yeah, that's funny. Yes, baby. Yes. All right, so we we, we, we stamped it first. Missy Stone, the Kobe Bryant of porn. We stamped it first. <laughs> we, you heard you heard that shit here first, man. We're gonna we're gonna take that. We're stamp it. We're gonna stamp that. I take it. I take it. I take but it. But that's but that's dope. That's that's dope that you was uh people took you under the dare wing and then you you were turning the favor. That's always oh, dope. Oh yes, always. I always respect where I came from. Don't ever play me. I know, and it's so crazy how you know people get a little money and they change. But I mean, you are gonna change regardless. But yeah, I still remember where the fuck I came from. That's, you know? that's what's up. Yeah, yeah. Don't mean I got to interact with bullshit. Yeah. So um, with that, let me ask you, uh, like, what made you get into the game? Uh, it was just a prerequisite of stripping kind of happened that way. You live this life, you get into the game. You know? Yeah. You live it. You live it, and that's where my path took me. It, that's the path I chose. Instead of being a regular stripper, I went to porn. <laughs> <laughs> That's the that's the cho that's what I chose. I didn't choose to go, you know, uh, tour in Atlanta and Miami. No, I didn't choose that. I chose the TV screen. Nice, nice pivot. Um, what's the uh, what's like some wild requests you got in the strip clubs? I know I know dudes be wilding in the strip club. Shit, that was so long ago. You know, I'm 38. Shit, I, I ain't been in a strip club working in the strip club in fucking decades, nigga. I don't know. Damn. What did they say? Uh, fuck, I don't remember. That's a stripper question. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. I was, I was <laughs> saying, I was, I, was, I was trying to, I was trying to jog your memory real quick. See if maybe oh you my might. God, I don't remember that far back. <laughs> See if you like remember. Now you made me tell my age. Look at this shit. Look what you did. Look what you did. Did you, you need me to edit that out? Or it's cool. <laughs> no, nah, it's cool. I think I, lo I love my authenticity, nigga. Fuck you. All right, cool, cool. cool, cool. <laughs> I love let my authenticity, shit. Let, let that shit. Let let that Run shit fly. That, that adds to the legend right there. Run that like, Run it. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, nah, you, you, you cool. You cool. This, this a fun interview so far. This, this, <laughs> this is a good. This cool. You funny. Nah, this, <laughs> I this, might this, have to call you on some other shit. <laughs> <laughs> what you think about politics, bitch? <laughs> oh, yeah. I made you. Nah. Not today. Not today. It was a joke. No, nah, we ain't, we ain't, we ain't, I ain't gonna have that. no hate threats in my motherfucking comments. Y'all got me fucked up. Yeah, we ain't, know, we're not getting that bad. You know who I voted for? The Most High, Gaia, God, the Sun and the Moon, nigga, nature, mm. the universe, nigga. Don't ask me shit, cuz. <laughs> Fuck you, man. I'm gonna hit you. I'm gonna hit you next time. I need some advice. I'm gonna hit you up. I'm gonna get some. I'm gonna get the <laughs> Misty Stone experience. Let's do it, baby. I'm always open. Yes, always. Especially if somebody needs some uh higher, what is it called? What do I what do I like to call it? What's that one nigga? 19 keys, the higher level conversations, cuz then mm. let's do it. I'm always down for a high level conversation. Definitely. definitely. Tap in with the gods. <laughs> Big I'm playing? Oh, you think I'm playing? No, nah, no, nah, you ain't playing. You dead you dead ass serious. You got the crystal on your neck and everything. Definitely. I know you serious. Yeah. Sure am. Sure the fuck am. So real quick, real quick. Um, I know you did. All right. So uh, back in the day, 
niggas like me when I um when I was growing up. See, we couldn't. We ain't really. Uh, we had the internet a little bit, but n- niggas like me, man, we had. I'm old. I'm old as rose gold. So we had to start off with Cinemax back in the day. Oh yes, yes. I've I've done a lot of that. <laughs> I think I ended Cinemax, nigga. Cinemax, <laughs> that they ain't even shooting no more, bitches. It's just replaying all Misty. Yeah. So if you could, so if you couldn't get on, get on the internet, we had to start there. We had to watch the fake shit, the quote unquote yes. fake shit on yes. Cinemax. Yes. So we didn't how... know it was fake though. It, for many years, nobody knew it was fake. For many oh, I... years, you knew, nigga. I didn't know till I got in born. <clears throat> I was a young nigga, so I was like. I ain't I ain't had sex yet, but I was looking at I was a couple ones where the like the ladies was all like, all the way on the nigga chest humping them. And I was like, said, wait that. a minute, wait. I was like, I was like, I was like, her ass a little too high up in the sky. I was like, nah, I, I know yeah. a nigga meat ain't all the way up there. It's something like I was like, nah, this shit fake right here. So how is it filming like the I what they call that shit? Erotica? How is it filming like the erotica versus like real, real porn? Uh, I mean, it, it's just insinuated sex. Of course, it's very different. <laughs> One, you're actually getting penetrated and, and yeah. you know, uh, exchanging fluids. And the other one, you are not. You're acting. Mm. So it's a, it's a big difference, honey. One of them, you're actually pleasuring yourself. And the other one, you are being an actor pleasuring yourself. You get it? Mm. Yeah, yeah I got you. So it is, it is very, very, very different. <laughs> Imagine <laughs> fucking and acting like you're fucking. Yeah, I got you. Because I was thinking, I was thinking, I was thinking for a second, like you said, my people didn't know it was um real or not. Because I was thinking, is there by chance, like some of them, like they actually are having sex and they kind of like make it look, don't zoom in all the way. Yes, yes. Oh, I got good at it, nigga. I, I you wouldn't be able to tell what the fuck I was doing. And then sometimes they would be so nice to allow us to have sex as long as we didn't show it depending on who we were working with. But we had to be both porn stars, of course, and be tested. And then if we come to the conclusion that we want to do it, then we do. But most of the time, no. After a while, shit, I think the rules changed and they couldn't do that anymore anyway. Oh, okay. So, yeah, but when yeah. we would work with um, regular mainstream actors, you know, because these are actors that this is what they do for a living. They do insinuated sex, you know. These are the type of films and... and um, uh, TV shows that they put out, you know, they got a whole bunch of them. I think I did one uh, co-ed confidential, you know, they have a whole bunch of these different shows that they were doing back in those days. And um, you would do it with regular actors. So when you would do that, we would wear a stocking that got, well, the guys would wear a stocking on their penis and the women would wear these patches. It's almost okay. like a band like a soft band-aid or something. Yeah. So it's like a patch that covers your entire vagina from the top to the bottom. And that way you don't rub on them or make them feel uncomfortable, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I'm about to ask, they put like duct tape on the coochie or something like that? Or... You're stupid. Well, that's a little extreme. I think that's inhumane, honey. <laughs> the fuck? No. It's good to you got to take it off. You can know. <laughs> <laughs> that's a terrible idea. They don't pay us enough for that. What the fuck? They don't pay us enough. No. That just came to my head. Yeah, of course yeah. I don't. I don't want them to do that. That's like that's insane. <laughs> inhumane, insane, yeah. inhumane. That's crazy. For the whole porn community, <laughs> even well, even, even mainstream actors. That's terrible. It's fucking terrible. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm I'm tripping. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if they do. They still like do that shit. Like, or, or like now they're like Cinemax still around. I don't even know if Cinemax still show that shit. You know, I think they're. I think they're. That train is over. Mm. I think the whatever is left on TV is what's left. They're going into transitioning into new stuff because we're doing our own content. There's no need for it. Nobody's really yeah. watching that. Oh, they probably like these. Uh, these young niggas. They 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 freaked out. They ain't gonna be able to watch yeah, this yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Oh my yeah. gosh, that's so true. It's so extreme now. We've gone so extreme with it. Oh my goodness, that's kind of bad because we're de- desensitizing sexual experiences. Mm, that could be yeah. a bad thing. That could be a bad thing. But yes, Definitely. it's so extreme now that uh, the insinuated sex won't even get you. You won't even. You know, what is this? Yeah, exactly. Young nigga, look at that shit, man. Man, this shit fake. And put yep. their phone down. I'm like, I'm. Yep go outside or something like that yeah 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 so well there you have it honey you said it see, <laughs> see me that's that's all i had so i had to watch this shit i was like this is this all a nigga got right here <laughs> <laughs>
Yes, that's all we had, honey. That's yeah. all we had. That's all we had. And actually, it was nice. It was very sensual and beautiful. So we thought, you know, that was how you had sex. Oh, look how it changed. Yeah, definitely. But that's be the consumers. The consumers want it rough. They want it tough. They want it this way. This is what they fantasize about. Mm. And if you don't give the consumers what they want, then they don't pay you any money. Definitely. Mm-hmm. What's the uh, what's the most requested Perfect. thing? Yeah, what's the most uh, requested thing you get from your fans? Like type of mm. filming. Dumb shit that I don't want to do. Anal. Damn. Always oh, ask anal. To stick something in my ass, and they got me fucked up. You stick it in your ass, nigga. Fuck me. Shit, they might. They might. Well, then do it, nigga. Tell me, <laughs> Tell me how to do it, nigga. Since she's so good at it, motherfucker. Hey, what if Tell what if you? Hey, I'm what a, if I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a talk you all through it, nigga? Don't play with me. I'll talk you through it. You fucking with the wrong one. I talk you through, talk you through that whole fucking experience, <laughs> and I won't do a motherfucking thing. No. I don't. I don't be on that wave. But what if you say that and then you get one of your freaked out friends? He grab a cucumber and be like, "Hey, Missy, hey. I, gotta, I, I heard you on the interview. I gotta do it. We gotta. Do it. <laughs> I want to do a Facetime right now." <laughs> You gotta you you gotta match if you you gotta match they freak then if they pull out they well I ain't saying you gotta pull out the cucumber. I, I I'm gonna talk you through it. Like I said. Yeah. I'm gonna talk you through it. Yes, I got you, baby. I got you. Give me a call. I got Damn. you. I wonder only, why like only I wonder fans, why that's a ww dot onlyfans.com slash <laughs> misty motherfucker. No, it ain't misty motherfucker stone. It's just misty stone. Slash misty stone. Misty yeah. stone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're gonna take they're gonna take you literal. <laughs> yeah, they are. They ain't got good sense. They're like, she said motherfucking stuff. I'll type that shit two times. Is it MF or is it motherfucker? Is it MF or what is <laughs> it? Which one is it? This no, shit ain't it's working. Missy Stone, baby. It's Missy Stone. Real simple. Real simple. Missy and Stone. You can, and you can get that call. Oh. You Why wanna, you want to do the cucumber? Go on ahead. Be my guest. I ain't going to tell nobody. I don't know you like that, nigga. Fuck it. <laughs> Why you think uh, the fans want that the most? They just want something other than that. I don't know. Because. I don't I don't. Shit, I can't tell you. I don't, I don't, I'm not in their head. One day you just ask them like, "Why you want something? Why you want to see that?" Just Maybe be like, "Why the fuck like. you want to see that?" They like it. Shit. That's what they like. Who who am I to tell them what they don't like? That's what they like. Fuck it. Just because I don't like it, don't mean a, a a million other motherfuckers don't do. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that's just their vibration. Fuck it. I feel. Yeah. I ain't mad. I support whatever energy they come in yeah. Nick, as long as it's authentic. You I got you. <laughs> I support any energy as long as it's authentic. Then we are good to go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's I salute I that. I salute it. Shout out! Shout out to you once once again for uh pulling up or well, quote unquote pulling up. You, you once again, I said you, oh, we're gonna call you the goat. We're gonna transition from the legend to the goat. <laughs> good looking cast. <laughs> yeah. So, um, Misty, we're going to get up out of here. I, once again. Yes, thank you. Once again, salute you. Um, What you working on right now? You got anything you need to plug? You know, shit, am I working on something? Shit, I'm writing a book, nigga. That shit crazy. Damn. I'm, a we- book. I'm about to write a book about my spiritual journey, and I'm going to try to teach all y'all the hood way because <laughs> I know this sounds crazy, right? But the hood way because it's my hood story. So I think that a lot of people from where I came from will understand what the fuck I'm talking about and how I'm relaying it, you know, and it's basically it's kind of autobiography about my spiritual journey. But Mm. it also is teaching how to get out of things, how to get out of how to break generational curses, how to fucking uh, heal trauma. You know what I'm saying? How to how to get out of. Uh, webs of confusions and cycles and shit like that. It's crazy, but on some hood shit. Y'all gonna be like, this bitch really spitting, guys. Yeah, so I'm spitting all through the book. <laughs> <laughs> shit, you gave him a preview on here. Uh, how the, how the book coming along? You almost done or you like halfway? Nigga, I'm like a hundred pages in, so I think I wrote two books. I ain't done. Cause you're I, right. I, it just keep coming. You writing it on you writing it on your own, or you got like somebody like helping you out? I'm writing it all by myself. I ain't, I'm writing it on paper, like old school. I got like a okay. hundred pages. Oh, baby! That's so what's up. Eventually, I'm gonna have to put it on a computer and revise it and do all of that good stuff. So it's gonna be a while from now, but fuck it. I, I said it, nigga. I'm writing a book. 
Definitely. When that book come out, we got to like review it on here. Man, I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do the audio and everything. So you, you know, y'all gonna get my perspective, my voice, all my shit, all my fucking trauma, all my pain, all that power, all in one, nigga, and how I transmuted. And I'm a fucking I'm a I'm a fucking alchemist. I fucking I've learned how to transmute energy in such a beautiful way, and I want to show other people how to do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because the shit is real. It ain't that easy, but once you get the hang of that shit, it's like exercising a muscle, nigga. You just got to exercise that muscle. Exercise it. Exercise your intuition, Cass. <laughs> what made you want to get on the spiritual wave? Ah, I almost died. Nigga, this stalker nigga tried to kill a bitch. He broke in my house and beat the dog shit out of me. Like, nigga, he tried to kill a bitch. Nigga in jail now, right now. He's gonna stay in jail. Every be. time he get out, I, he got out one time. He stayed in there for like a year. And then he got out, did the same shit. I get, they gave him another five years. So he just get uh, a fucking crazy motherfucker. Uh, yeah, that's what happens. And then you start yeah. looking at life a little differently. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You start appreciating things in another perspective because uh-huh. you'd be like, damn, cuz, is this how I'm living my life? So if I would have died, is this how I want to leave my legacy, cuz? And you start mm. changing shit. And that's what the fuck it is. Was the stalker dude, was it like somebody you knew or just like some random motherfucker? It was a, he what? Funny thing is, he made his way into my life type shit. Like, I was posting places where I was at and I was out with my publicist one day shopping downtown and the nigga found me because he seen me on Instagram. Hmm. So he had already had been stalking a bitch and I didn't know. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. and basically got in my good graces you know, because I'm a friendly ass motherfucker, cuz. And I didn't know it was a fucking predator. So, yeah, man. Shit was crazy. He's a fucking crazy motherfucker. Yeah, he got yeah. in my good graces. I helped him a little bit. I, I was trying to help him a little bit in the industry. I had him working with some of the most amazing stars. I mean, doing very well for the young man, but some people aren't wired correctly to understand yeah. a blessing in front of their fucking face. Yeah. So, yeah, he just crazy. I don't know. I ain't never met nobody like that, nigga. I, I, I done met some crazy ass niggas in the hood, but not like this. Yeah. This different, cuz. This some different shit. So, yeah, yeah, I almost died, nigga. Fuck you mean? Yeah, Got it my back. Got it got my back. <laughs> that's, nobody that's else a... had my back. This bitch had my back. So, exactly. hell yeah, I'm on a spiritual journey. Fuck you that... mean. Yeah, that's some wild shit. Well, he he where he need to be at. And yeah, he I'm need glad to stay in that motherfucker. Yeah, he need to stay in there. They need to yeah, they actually need to bury that motherfucker. But hey, jail jail or do jail or do. I don't jail know, do. nigga. It'll do, yeah, because he just gonna get out and do it again. But hopefully, I exactly. move right in. I'm a move. I'm a move. I'm a move. Yeah. I'm a move. And when you get that, when you get the new crib, we gotta have that that amazing view like that one. Yeah, you know I am, cause you know I am. I'm thinking about having an oasis in my backyard. You know. Mm. Oh yeah, back here. I'm trying to do an oasis this time around. <laughs> for for uh for motivational purposes, can we see the view one more time? Just for motivation, because yeah, it, it, it inspired yeah, me. For motivational purposes, yes, baby. Look at that. Wait, not the gazebo. Oh shit! Wait. <laughs> <laughs> we got the gusty winds. Hold on. We don't want to show you the whole balcony. It's a real big balcony, but I ain't about to show you the whole goddamn thing because. Yeah, hey, just for motivational purposes. That's all I can give you. I would go over here. Here, I'll go on this side like this, so you don't see the gazebo. <laughs> here we go. See. Y'all see that? That balcony bigger than mother for some motherfuckers' cribs. Mo- I know some- it's big as fuck. I had to walk over to the other side, but I didn't want you to see the gazebo because it looked fucking messy. Yeah. But it's gusty, nigga. I ain't got no man here. I got to do this shit by myself. Me and Gaia, nigga. Fuck you, man. Damn, that's what's up. Me and guy yeah. all day, all day. Oh I'm shit! Right. Oh, oh shit! We we were supposed to wrap up. You said you said that I was watching one of your other interview. You ain't get your man back. Nah, fuck that nigga. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I needed. I wanted him to heal with me, and he didn't know how to heal. I was on a spiritual journey. You know, you got to keep up with a bitch. Sometimes people aren't ready to heal, so you got to keep it moving, baby. And it's not fuck that nigga. It's always love and light. We actually have Mm. a wonderful relationship. I was being funny saying that. We have a wonderful relationship. It ended very beautifully. Um, But yeah, no. I am on a different uh, timeline than him. We are on two different timelines. And yeah, no. Damn. 
Do you you find it hard? Out single. No. She's single. She's single out here. <laughs> can uh, anybody watch it? Can anybody put in any application? You 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 not you, you not take you're not taking an open call on the relationship. First, you're gonna have to get through a conversation with me. That's the fun part. If you can get through a conversation with me, you good, guys. Let's see. Damn. All right. Hey. Y'all shoot that shit. Y'all shoot that shot. Is it is it hard um balancing like relationships and being in the industry? Uh at first it was. I'm getting much better at it now. Okay. But yeah. At first. But you just gotta be authentic, nigga. As long as you are honest and authentic and you let people know what the fuck it is, they have a choice. Mm. You know? And I think that that's all you can do. And I think that it will go very smoothly. Yeah. yeah. But when you hide stuff and you want to, oh, I'm going to hurt their feelings type bullshit, just be who you are. Yeah. That's all anybody can ever ask for. And I think you have less complications. The only complications you'll have is because the other person is not authentic and they don't mm. understand authenticity. Yeah. So that's the only complication you're going to have is helping them understand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching um, an interview a couple weeks ago. It was with a porn star. They had they was asking her about like relationships, and she was like, uh, "Every dude she ever be with, they be like when she like tell them like, hey, I'm in the industry and whatnot. Are you gonna be okay with it?' All the dudes say, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." Until then when it's time, yeah, when they get to this date, she filming a scene. She get back home, the nigga looking crazy and shit, and he won't go out, want to go out and cheat. Yeah, they feel like in there because from a man's perspective, they feel like it's cheating. Mm. They clearly understood what they signed up for, but see, their feelings don't match their mind and their actions. You see how you got to be in alignment. Yeah. You see, say something. What are your real intentions? You see how people don't even realize that they not in alignment. You say one thing, but you think one thing and then you feel another thing. How the fuck, how the fuck that work? Mm. You ain't in alignment at all, nigga. You gonna have to fix that shit. So mm, yeah, well, that means that they, 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 their intentions were already fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> because they, yeah, they, they ain't living in their truth at all. But then they get to experience it. Now you get to experience it and now your feelings tell you, all right, this shit ain't right. I don't like this shit. Now I exactly. feel like a bitch cheating. Now you understand how you really feel. So next time, say what you mean. Yeah, some hey man, you, you know nigga, you know niggas lie. So this might be one of the things where it's like ain't in alignment. That ain't the nigga for me. Yeah. <laughs> you gonna have to mean what you say. When you think it, you better feel it and you better do it. And it better be all in alignment, or you are not the nigga for me. That's some real shit. Your intentions better be right. Cause I'ma see you. <laughs> I'm disrespectful. <laughs> I'm scaring niggas for they even come. <laughs> hey. Gotcha. gotcha, nigga. Gotcha. Hey, right. so, hey, well, the niggas that she didn't scare off, go ahead. If well, hello, ever. honey. Come and cuddle <laughs> with me because I am so fun. <laughs> hey, y'all still shoot that shot out there, man. She, she, she a legend, man. You gotta, hey, yeah. With the with the, you you when you uh sign up for it, man, you already know what you got to get in, what you getting into. So if you got an issue with it, then. That's on your ass. All you got to do is be authentic, nigga. Be honest. That's all I ask, nigga. That's the easiest thing in the world, but it's hard for everybody. So, you know, fuck it. If it's real hard for you to be honest, just follow me on my motherfucking Instagram at Misty Stone, the legend. The okay? legend. Yes, that's me. Misty Stone, the legend. And I got a check mark. Ain't nobody else. That's me. Okay. I know it's a gang of Misty Stones. This is a lot of Misty Stones, the legends. But mm. I am the only one with a check mark, so that's me. Um, on my ex account, I am Misty Stone XXX, of course, duh. And then I gave you guys my OnlyFans, but let's do it again: OnlyFans.com/slash Misty Stone. And if you, you know, you want to feel like you are there with me, holding me, touching me, fucking me, go buy my flashlight. That is at www.fleshlight.com/slash Misty Stone. Get it? Yeah. First, uh, first black porn star with a uh, with a flashlight. By the way, now you know it. I'm a pioneer, baby. That's what I do. I think I'm the first black person in the Brothers Hall of Fame too. Nigga, I'm I'm a pioneer, motherfucker, nigga. Fuck you. Legendary shit. So, 
And we're gonna be we're gonna be on the lookout for that book. When that book come out, we might need that part too. Cause I'm I'm interested in the book. Cause yeah, I think I it's beautiful. Yes. It's it's yeah. gonna be something else. Who baby? Yeah, yeah I might I might I might need to start my, my spirit. Life. I'm spitting yeah. the game, but it's also spitting my life and all my secrets and all my shit. And, oh, baby, it's fun. Mm, I'm putting it all in my truth. I'm just giving <laughs> it all out there. I'm putting it all out on the motherfucking table. Nigga, what you gonna say? <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah, Fuck we're, it. Gonna, we're gonna be on the lookout for that. I might have to start my spiritual journey after I read that. Yeah, Cass. Yeah, Cass. Let's 